Hi, good morning. Uh, this is Dr. Preyas Vaidya. I am a consultant pulmonologist at Fortis Hospital, Washi. Today, I am going to speak about how the Omicron variant of the novel coronavirus affects the lungs. So, as we know that the COVID-19, since it has struck, it has been rampantly infective and contagious disease which is being caused by the novel coronavirus. The novel coronavirus since its inception has mutated multiple times and as it passes on from host to host, it, it causes itself some mutations which cause some newer infections and a newer spectrum of uh, problems to the person who is infected. The virus goes from the infected person to a non-infected person through respiratory droplets and as it goes, uh, it has been found that its infectivity and also its virulence or the intensity of infections change. So the novel Omicron variant which has been found in South Africa, maybe not more than a month back, has uh, actually been more infective and more contagious. However, at the same time, its spectrum of complaints and the spectrum of the disease severity is pretty different. So, it has been found that it causes more trouble in the upper respiratory tract. So, people have more throat infections, more throat problems like sore throat, pharyngitis or something like even pain in the throat or irritation and a dry cough along with some runny nose, rhinitis, all those problems are more prominent with fatigue and body ache. However, on research it has also been found that these viruses tend to stay in your breathing tubes inside the lungs rather than going into the air spaces which cause pneumonias. So there has been less incidence of pneumonias along with coronavirus Omicron variant but there have been some inflammation to the breathing tubes which can cause cough and can cause some irritation even while breathing to certain individuals. However, we have to be sure that people who have already existing lung diseases are at higher risk of still getting a flare of their old existing lung diseases, be it interstitial lung disease, be it COPD or be it asthma they are at an increased risk of getting an exacerbation. And it has also been found that people who were vaccinated prior to the infection have been getting lesser and milder infections. However, only time tells us which kind of infection and what severity of infection a person gets. So always be cautious, even if you start getting symptoms, take medical attention and make sure you are put on the right medications as early as possible to prevent complications. Thank you.